A lot of kids in southern Wisconsin are heading back to school next week. And in Dane County, three school districts have new leaders this school year. All week on 27 News at 4, we've been airing a series of conversations with those new superintendents. Today, our coverage wraps up with us looking forward. Here's what Joe Gothard, Tanya Frederick, and Monica Kelsey Brown are looking forward to this school year and what they think is the future of education in Dane County. When you all think about the future of education, what do you think are the most promising avenues for your field to continue developing and continue providing even better learning environments for children? I think some of the alternative pathways to teacher certification is inspiring. Um, when we think about teacher pipeline, how do we first um, really make sure that communities see the value of education and see it as a really promising route of a career uh, for children or for in their in their lives and then how do we create that pathway to being certified and also having a living wage to support that and the idea that our schools truly serve the cultures of all of our students is something that excites me we're a, a growing changing community that's expected to grow exponentially in in the next 30 years and with that, Madison being a destination city, I want MMSD to be a destination school district. And I think truly serving the cultures, the unique cultures of our students is one way that we can do that. And I think it makes all of us better. When we talk about workforce or we talk about applying our learning to a global society, what better place to do that than our public school districts? And I would agree with both of them. Um, Thinking about the alternative pathways for students, I think it's really um, a big one. Uh, so often we, um, for years ago, we focused on the college, college and career ready, but I think it was mostly college um, are the spaces that we were um, pushing our students to. And, and that's still important if that's what you wanna do. But I think education now is coming to, um, to understand what we want is for our students to pursue their passion as it relates to what they would like to do when they graduate from high school. So whether it's the trades, which uh, I think our state does a great job of promoting the trades. Um, we've, I've seen that just increase over the years and I think it's been awesome. But understanding at the high school level, uh, more of those hands-on um, experiential learning um, experiences, if you will, for students, I think is going to be um, very, very important moving forward. The start of the school year less than a month away it's getting closer quickly what are you all most excited about this school year what are your hopes for this school year i'm excited about the opportunity number one to just be here in this great space uh, everyone has been welcoming and as i again understand the landscape i'm excited for our students um, to return. Um, really excited to see our elementary students who will come to this building. Um, I think it will be a lot of, oh my goodness, you know. Um, so watching our students on the first day of school and wow. I just want to be out there um, meeting and greeting our families and watching, you know, the, the eyes of our children light up on the first day of school for whatever grade they're going to be in. Really listening and learning and understanding what not just new teachers but returning teachers and then as the families start to come into the buildings and getting to know the families and just really honored to be here and be entrusted with that next phase of leadership in the district so excited for people to be in buildings and showing up every day and and doing all of the things that we've been planning all summer for me it's first starts with people our our Madison's made up of great people, whether you're at the farmer's market or the union in the summer or visiting various summer programs. I'm always amazed at people's experiences with the Madison Metropolitan School District as a former student, perhaps, maybe even one of my former students. <laughs> it's just been incredible. And to know that we're gonna open our doors, 53 doors, and have that kind of community coming into our schools has me very excited. The second is purpose. Our schools exist for children. We exist to to do our very best to help each individual child reach their full potential. And that's exciting and it should be exciting uh, because we want the school experience from pre-K to 21 plus, wherever we program our, our students, we want them to be successful. And the third is pride. I'm really proud to open my first year as the MMSD superintendent, uh, a role I couldn't have imagined having as a student on the east side, you know, back in the day, as I like to say. And I'm really excited for, for that first day. Other topics this series has covered include the achievement gap and school budgets. You can find all of this coverage on our YouTube page or website, wkow.com.